Hello everybody, I'm Magna Mega and welcome to my channel. This is the second part of the rig or bond tutorials and today I want to talk about the difference between forward kinematic and inverse kinematic or FK and EK and talk about some constraints and what is that. And from make this exercise or can explain all these things I create this uh, very simple hand using all the knowledge of uh, talking in the previous video if you don't know how to work with hierarchy parents flooded bones and that kind of stuff I recommend it to watch my previous video and well let's go I will talk about fears uh, the FK um, or forward kinematic uh, animation yeah and that's pretty simple it's moving bone by bone okay. this is the forward kinematic yeah this is the fierce way uh, when the fierce animations animators sorry the fierce animators can move their characters it's only using this way because in that time the technology it's not uh, so advanced uh, but something pretty pretty cool about the animate using the FK it's the power of curves let me try and what I do it's I will make a little movement here Go to 20 and move these bones back. And let's move later and let go down here. That's pretty fast it's not what I really want but that's the idea we have movement make that curve here and go down I will show you some this option here it's a motion path and I will calculate it okay and we can see here the lines of the motion and here we can fix that lines and you can see how these things are make more clean curves here and now I can rotate here then. that's the speed and the, and the in the final but you can select everything and move a little away there we go and you can see that make a curve yeah if we want I don't know animate a spine uh, arms yeah and tails and whatever that kind of stuff even a snake or that kind we can create a pretty nice movement and uh, the curves are I don't know the essential of the beauty of any movement and from the other hand we have the the other way to animate it and that's the EK or inverse kinematic what means inverse kinematic it's uh, one bone control the movement of a chain of bones yeah that means I will create a new bone here in the tip this new bone I will need to detach for entire um, bone chain yeah that means I go to pattern here and delete the, the patterns and now it's a um, it's a floating bone here and I will select the near bone near bone here shift E active bone and you can see now it's put a 
yellow color here and this dot line or yellow dot line is go straight to the the base of the, the hand and now if I move this the entire bones are moved yeah that's what I mean when one bones control the entire chain now we can control the, the length of this uh, motion going here to the bone constraints and this the, the EK it's a constraint and what is the constraint it's a restriction we give to one or several bones to move in a certain way and in this case this bone controls all the entire motion of the rest of the, mo the bones and all constraints we can see a lot of them I will cover uh, both of, of them later um, have this uh, option here the armature what armature we work it the bone are targeted and uh, other stuff but the important thing here it's the chain length if I move this in one now only I move this bone because it's only have one bone in the chain if I put two you can see now that's bone curve here now I can move this and I will put three that means I will move the entire finger yeah and that's pretty pretty cool the, e the EK it's usual work better in some parts like legs because they need to stay in the same uh, same position the floor yeah because if I move the entire object here you can see all the time they look up to that bone or that control yeah and that's pretty cool if we need I don't know push this thing here and you can see there all the time they have that finger sticky here and if you think about it, the leg that's uh, a leg pointing in, the, in the, the floor yeah that's pretty pretty handy the problem with the EK it's the restriction of the movement because to create a this curve or try to make that that finger goes there you can see it's pretty mechanic it's go to one side but one and I will need to put another uh, keyframe here and you can see but it still looks pretty pretty um, mechanic that's the other thing the FK it's for or it's work better for organic movement and the EK it's work better for mechanic movements yeah you can see that's more complicated to get a nice um, slow flow yeah? you can see that's pretty different the effect of two different styles yeah. okay and the last things it's about the general constraints blender have a lot of constraints this is the, the very interesting things but we have another one here and that's pretty cool because it's very very easy to to use and if press N there appear this transform here we can location rotation and scale and in all these options we have this uh, locket here and that means if I block the X uh, on here the base now I can move it in X line even I try it then I can move it even if I press um, C, I only can move up and down this this bone and that's pretty cool even if we don't want I don't know let me check this guy here this thumb uh, bone I don't want there uh, go away in this case like uh, I grab it and move it away the hand I don't want that I block the 
all the location and now when I grab this they immediately jump to rotation yeah and that's pretty pretty cool and I can do it in all the rest of the fingers now no one can go away from the hand that's pretty pretty cool and we have another constraint that's the pretty handy options and I can see we have a, a lot of constraints here and uh, when I use a lot it's the copy rotation okay but the copy rotation it's work uh, work here this will be the base will be the control of the entire chain length and I will select this one copy rotation I will target the armature the bound in this case this is, will be the control here the bound 001 and press here and th this is other, other thing is important is the space and the world space that means the orientation of the entire world and I will need to put this in the local space that means the position of the bone itself put it in the two here and now when I move this you can see they rotate and if I make the same here copy rotation armature in this case this is bone 006 we can put over here control C and go there control B local space local space and now we can have this and that's pretty pretty similar to uh, animated using uh, FK animation but only move one bone yeah. even can create this style and look pretty organic now the problem of this it's maybe I can rotate the tip over here because uh, the movement of these bones it's based on the rotation of the previous here but the most of the this country have the opposite option and the opposite option the offs, offset option when press on here we can move independent and that's pretty pretty handy now we have a lot of constraints and I don't know if you want to to see and I don't know if you want uh, I cover more of this uh, constraints please uh, tell me in the comments on this video yeah but I think this is the, the most basic uh, options and knowledge to control one or several uh, bones at the same time hope you enjoy this this video this tutorial and in the next video I will talk about um, the type of bones yeah we, we can have a different type of bones in, in blender and how uh, use the bone layers and how to animate make animation we can cover a little bit right right in, now in this video but in the next uh, tutorial I will watch how create some keyframes and that kind of stuff and what style of work would you like? Forward kinematic or inverse kinematic? Let me know your answer in the comment box. That is all. See you in the next video. Big dinosaur hug for all of you. Bye bye.